Good afternoon, esteemed colleagues. Uh, my presentation, not a very maybe traditional one. Uh, not a very conventional for such type of events. I would like to thank uh, for uh, this chance to speak, and I would like to uh, thank MSD and Ford. And uh, this is about uh, uh, improvement awareness, negative attitude to vaccination. Where are the reasons? Uh, apart from very famous anti-vaccine uh, movement, apart from such think is lack of trust into medicine. I would like to speak about lack of uh, high quality information. And it's typical not only of parents, but of the doctor's attitude of our Russian people to vaccinate is presented here. It's not that bad. And almost 78 percent uh, get their children immunized, let's say. Um, uh, but part of parents consider to a Avoid uh, the 78 uh, scope percent scope. They allow to immunize their children only against the most serious diseases, and sometimes they are lacking information. That's why. Uh, they prefer to avoid a number of uh, immunizations. There are some parents, 3.3, uh, who do not immunize their children, do not get them immunized. There is a very small percent of parents uh, who cannot do this because of comorbidities, uh, different diseases, allergic uh, conditions, and so on. In the majority of cases, parents trust pediatricians, doctors, and so on. Those social network, the sometimes effect and impact parents. Uh, uh, some uh, doctors are negative uh, uh, against uh, vaccinations, uh, uh, therapists and surgeons, some of them are against. Maybe they are lacking information about immunization all in all. Uh, the reasons why among among, uh, among doctors a professional negative experience uh, uh, it could not be a very extensive if we speak about surgeons and therapists uh, it's, uh, it's a risk of uh, adverse events serious consequence which is connected with post immunizational period again lack of uh, true information Information is involved and in attitudes of colleagues, other doctors is important for people in the community before passing over to practical things that uh, we could use, uh, that pediatrician could use that is responsible for immunization, who is interacting with the uh, parents. I would like to say what communication is about. It's passing over information. Uh, it's targeted uh, imp uh, when, when a doctor is uh, impacting the uh, opinion of the parents. Uh, it's targeted approach. It's for the doctor. It should be dialogue, professional dialogue. It's uh, interaction between doctors and parents has its uh, uh, target to inform to improve uh, awareness and uh, uh, compliance. And uh, uh, previously prepared text scripts could help the doctor in this situation. We are restricted by time. We have time frames. Quite often is the reason why doctor can't share uh, their 100 percent scope of information so uh, short texts could be prepared preliminary. Principles of successful communication are based on a uh, number of things. It's uh, whether you are sure or not. You should be self-confident. You should base yourself on official sources. You should navigate yourself uh, uh, through the information. It helps to pursue uh, the parents. Uh, it's important to control emotions because some colleagues, patients could 
provoke negative emotions, could cause, uh, could involve the doctor into emotional uh, process, and the doctor should be a psychologist, not only the doctor, a psychologist for the parents, for himself, herself. Uh, the sequence and consequence is very important. Uh, question answer, question answer, do not. Uh, uh, you should not be ahead of the parent, of the answer, of the pair, of the of the question of the par parent, and we should not eager uh, giving additional information that the parent can't can't consume, and we should avoid maybe very special terminology there. A language should be very simple. If we speak about the characteristics of the information, it's the quality. Object, uh, objectiveness uh, it should be true, high quality information. Speaking about immunization, we should not use our, our own opinion. We should uh, use uh, guidelines and official sources. Our personal opinion is valuable in our family. And uh, the scope of the information, not more, not less. And we should should not abuse scientific details. Our doctors are improving their qualification, they know scientific data, but the majority of parents do not need such information. When we are overwhelming them with figures, we could uh, evolve negative re reaction. Uh, uh, the types of communication according to American psychology psych uh, uh, psychiatrist Eric Byrne, and he wrote such books as uh, Games People Play, uh, three uh, I or me uh, levels, uh, it's normal phenomena of our uh, ego, it's, uh, it's uh, parent, uh, adult, and child, but all those levels responsible for different type of apprehension and uh, methods of processing the information. When we are in contact with somebody interacting, we are in one of the stages, parent, it's rules and norms, so you should, you must, and we have all of them. Uh, and uh, the parent, it's uh, uh, the uh, image of our parents. Uh, adult, it's the position that based on rational knowledge, rational choice, it uh, uh, helps how to act in a rational uh, way, straightforward, based uh, well. And there is a child, our basic uh, this minute wishes and emotion. I want, and that's it. And we always can read through the person and which uh, state situation he or she is and who is dealing with you, the parent, the adult, or the child. And uh, there are some signs of such uh, stages, such states, and we can recognize them in ourselves, in parents, when a person is in the stage state of the parent. It's like like it's finger pointing posture, it's a uh, 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 arrogant approach, arrogant uh, look, uh, look downwards, and uh, I do not agree. I am not in agreement. I would not immunize my child. You are obliged to uh, understand this. How many times I have uh, uh, told you that I will not allow to immunize my child? So, uh, adult is. Uh, Another posture, uh, your eyes, his eyes are very attentive, uh, widen, he's looking into your eyes, and you can see understanding in his face. He's uh, polite, uh, excuse me, I have not understood this, could you please explain again, let's think together, how, how do you plan to do it, uh, what is the plan regarding immunization of my child, action idea. Uh, situation we would like to see people like this and his posture expression coincide of the inner 
uh, uh, this inner state and uh, when we are dealing with a child uh, of their adult person it's I do not need this vaccination I do not wo want it I'm adult now and I ha had have no diseases uh, no infectious diseases I do not want I do I will not so colleagues uh, it's uh, interactions between two uh, equal persons. Our experience is unique, even if you, if the person you are dealing with is in a state of parent or child, everything should be done to support his reputation. And uh, the task uh, uh, is when dealing with colleagues, uh, it's uh, to be uh, always in the situation and the state of the adult and to uh, bring uh, your colleague uh, into this stage as well, to help them to pass into this stage. Look into his eyes, his position of the adult. Uh, uh, do not look downwards. Uh, and. Uh, it's necessary to uh, agree first and then to ask question. A colleague says, I'm afraid of immunization regarding my child. I'm afraid of complications. Uh, I know that uh, my neighbor got his child immunized and uh, it paralyzed his legs. And uh, yes, and your answer is you. I understand your doubt, your fears, but let me tell you what risks are and what could happen, how risks are low uh, regarding uh, in comparison with their. Uh, all advantages of the immunization. Uh, if we speak with al uh, adults, there is an al algorithm that could be used. The ideal situation is when parents agree to get their child immunized. Uh, they do not ask questions. They are in compliance with the situation and they agree. If they are not ready, it's recommended to uh, first use your opinion, your self-confident opinion, and give them information for the majority uh, of parents. It's enough if uh, there are such um, if such communication based on truth, truthful, was established, and the parents uh, uh, believe you. Uh, it's sometimes very good uh, when a parent. Uh, but if a parent is in the state of I am a child, they like to uh, sh shift responsibility. They say, are you sure? Are you sure that my child will not develop any kind of consequences and diverse effects after the immunization? So they shift their responsibility. And of course, if something happens, you will uh, be uh, in a very unpleasant situation. You will be used of everything. So you should investigate the situation thoroughly. If after your uh, opinion, uh, even after listening to your opinion, uh, parents have uh, questions, you have to answer. Uh, and uh, all the questions giving uh, the amount of information they want to get. Uh, sometimes they say to be able to speak about vaccines in a better way you should speak less you should give less information so they do not need date of clinical trials quite often if we speak about the wording that we should stick to in order to express our confident opinion on the necessity of vaccination, we can use uh, wor such words as I uh, do recommend. I am convinced that the vaccine is safe and I vaccinate my own children and my local clinic has vast experience with this vaccine. When parents start asking us questions, we should definitely understand their problems first and foremost. And um, your readiness to, first of all, listen to their problems uh, is utterly important. You may be uh, 
you just you may be uh, incapable of answering some of their problems but if parents see that you respect their worries then uh, definitely it will lead to a better trust with a physician and the most frequently asked questions of uh, parents uh, of course, we have discussed a lot of information already. I will uh, allow myself to just uh, cover some of them briefly. And uh, the way we should answer or handle these or that uh, worries and anxieties of, our, of parents. For example, what kind of uh, disease are caused about by the virus? Whether my uh, child within the risk group, whether vaccination in such young age is needed? How do I know that vaccine does work? I'm also uh, worried that my uh, uh, child would ask whether uh, after vaccination I can have sex. This is something I have taken from an American se uh, website. And um, uh, this is something that is relevant uh, for the United States then. Um, uh, whether the vaccine is uh, safe, whether papillomavirus should also be vaccinated against in boys. So these are the questions that we can uh, expect from parents. Now, if we speak about different diseases caused about by the HPV, I'm not going to go into details here because every uh, pediatrician must be aware of this. Whether my child is within the risk group, yes. As soon as uh, your child uh, will uh, start uh, sexual life, uh, he will be within the risk group, and the child must be vaccinated before active uh, sexual uh, behavior. Uh, if you vaccinate an adolescent, then we can use only two regimens of three doses. How do I know that the vaccine is active? There is a lot of data on the activity of a vaccine. It really prevents the development of HPV-associated diseases. And alongside with other recombinant vaccines, this particular uh, HPV vaccine is one of the safest in the world. I'm afraid that my child uh, will think that actually he can start having sex after that. Americans actually, they do have uh, problems with that, and statistically they uh, do analyze, um, analyze any information. So vaccination actually does not uh, improve the probability of the onset of sexual life. So. Uh, why do we need to vaccinate boys? Because uh, we need to prevent uh, HPV-associated diseases in boys as well, and whether it is safe. Yes, we have 14 years of experience and monitoring that shows that it is effective and absolutely safe. Then uh, these are the words about um, just infertility. There is not a single proof that it will anyhow mitigate the uh, fertility function. Whether there are any adverse events. So local reactions are possible, such as uh, erythema, pain in the ejection site, and also the pain reaction. I actually uh, got vaccinated myself. I was, uh, I, I felt pain in the ejection site. Uh, so there are some people who don't notice it, so it's quite subjective. Uh, then uh, elevation of temperature up to 35 degrees, approximately th in 13% uh, th of cases. A placebo effect can also be possible. And also the placebo effect was registered in then systemic reactions, uh, giddiness, nausea, myalgia. We uh, have to register all the adverse events after uh, an intervention nowadays. And uh, uh, all the systemic reactions that came in the label, they were both uh, in the um, group of placebo and in the group of uh, injection, uh, in the group of vaccine. So there are also registered, there is also registered information that the vaccine can provoke syncopes. But I should say that this is related mainly to the fact that mainly uh, we vaccinate adolescents. Adolescents should be vaccinated um, in a sitting position, or they should be uh, prone, and they should remain prone or sitting for 15 minutes after. So then uh, also we should take into account the attitude to vaccination per se. 
So the active supporters of vaccination, they're only 10 percent. They are just fans of vaccination. They uh, vaccinate uh, themselves not only within the international schedule, but also go somewhere abroad and get vaccinated with the vaccines which are not registered for Russia. We also have such patient, patients in our clinic. There are also 10 percent of uh, those who are against any vaccination at all for some religious beliefs or uh, some other beliefs which I suppose uh, we should spare our effort to uh, persuade them because our target group are 80 percent of those who partly support vaccination. These are just very much um, uh, easy to convince uh, audience and we shall receive good results within this group. They will be uh, quite compliant. Now, uh, these are the arguments to support vaccination. 80% of people are, have the risk of HPV infection in the course of their life. 86% reduction of HPV association diseases. And apart from that, the United States showed that they have used already over 120 million doses. And uh, the uh, effectiveness and uh, safety of Vaccination has already been proven within 14 years of experience and follow-up. So these are the questions of our colleagues. They can all actually be the answers can be derived from the label. We talked about uh, safety and we talked a lot about um, uh, effectiveness, but so about fertility. Actually, I will flick the slides now. This uh, talk with the colleagues. They usually uh, ask questions about the label. If we speak about counterindications, then this, these are uh, hypersensitivity to the components of a vaccine and also uh, acute or severe uh, diseases such as hemophilia, thrombocytopenia, and so on. And there are five, uh, case, uh, five ways through which we can improve the level of vaccination or the coverage with vaccination. So. We should, first of all, uh, group our recommendations. We should uh, raise awareness among the colleagues and patients, and any opportunity for this should be used. We should also be using the personal example, and I would like to also say that the unanimous uh, opinion that vaccination is really needed will improve the situation in the society among the parents and the